Okay, welcome back. So in this video, what we're going to do is set up our initial user management uh, project here uh, with Laravel. Uh, we're going to get started using uh, the Laravel installer. So the Laravel installer, uh, very easy to install um, with Composer. All you do is go Composer Global Require Laravel Installer. And that will install the installer and then it'll be accessible anywhere in the file system so that we can use this simple command of uh, Laravel new and then we'll say user manager. Now it's going to go ahead and put that together. The other option, if you don't want to install the installer, you can always uh, install it via composer, saying composer create dash project dash dash prefer dash dist Laravel slash Laravel and then the name of your project and that'll be uh, written above here uh, for your reference. Great, so now our application is ready to go here. I'm just going to clear my screen. Uh, we're going to CD into our project. We're going to install uh, another Laravel package, and that is Laravel Telescope. Telescope allows us to do things like see the requests that are made, find our errors, view events, uh, see what models were affected, um, view mail that comes through, kind of catch all that. So. It's very, very handy. I typically install it on every project I do with Laravel. You want to make sure that you're actually in your user manager uh, directory there. And we'll go ahead and install that. Great, so we got Telescope installed now. Now that Telescope is installed, what we're going to do is scaffold all of our UI components and our login registration. Uh, all our authentication stuff uh, right now. So we can do that very simply by going Composer, Require, Laravel again, slash UI. Great, now that that's done, we're going to use a, an artisan command. So artisan, if you're using this folder, um, is a set of tools included with Laravel that allow us to do some things, which is great. So PHP Artisan UI view dash auth. All this ends up bringing in view as well. And we'll go ahead, as the instructions say, uh, we'll npm install and npm run dev. This is going to install all of our JavaScript and CSS and compile everything for us. It's part of the project. Great, so that compiled uh, successfully for us. So it installed it, all the dependencies, and now it uh, compiled it all. Now, before we open up our application, there's two other things I want to do. Uh, one, I would like to set up our database. So if you are running, if you have XAMPP, then you can simply open up the control panel, click start to fire up the MySQL server. The other option is just to type MySQLD, assuming that it's available to you globally as an environment variable. Uh, that's if you're using Windows. And in here, what I can do now is I'll go MySQL-U root to log in. And I'm just going to create a database called user manager okay so that's created now now i'll exit out of here and i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to open up my code editor so i use vs code great little tool does everything i need so um let's get this set up and i'll increase the font size Okay, so that should help you to view things uh, a lot better in here. Okay, so now we got that set up. Now we need to go down to our environment file here. And do things like change the application name. So this will appear in different parts of the site. So we'll just call this one user manager. Uh, you're going to change this to our database name. And nothing else should need to be configured here. Uh, running on my local environment, development environment. So, so we'll go ahead. We'll save that. Open up our command prompt here. 
for now. Okay, so that's done. Now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to migrate all of the tables and everything that we have. We'll end up re-migrating it here shortly uh, in the next video as we set up our users and whatnot. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to serve this uh, application up. Okay. Uh, and now we'll go take a look at that uh, from on the front. So to view your served up application, what you're going to do is go to the browser like this and type in 127.0.0.1, port 8000 in there. You see we have the ability to log in, and out of the box comes the ability to even register. Now this application, the registration is going to be handled on the administrator side, so I don't actually want this in here. And that'll be one of the things we'll take care of here first. So I'm going to close this out. I'm going to go into our routes folder under web and where it says routes I'm going to type in register and it's going to be false and I'm also going to go to the registration um, is it register controller yes so I'll go to the register controller uh, if you want to access that you just go control P and then you type in this the file that you want to that you want to work with uh, and then pick from the list up here. Uh, the, this is a much faster way for us to navigate. Uh, but in here you have app, HTTP, controllers, auth, register controller is where you're going to find this one. And I want to go ahead and I want to delete that. So just click delete and that should be all good now. Now what we can do is we can go back to our Laravel application. We'll refresh and we no longer get register. Okay. One other thing I do want to install before we go any further as part of setting up our whole project and before we actually start coding is installing Font Awesome. So Font Awesome, as the name suggests, is awesome. <laughs> uh, it's a set of free icons that we can use. They also have a premium version and we're going to go ahead and we're going to install this with NPM. Okay, and there we have the instructions. So I'll just copy this and I'll go back to my browser, or sorry, to my uh, to command prompt there, and I'll just paste that in there. I'll give you a second to, to view that and enter it in yourself. So it should only take a couple seconds to actually install. In the meantime, I'm going to open up uh, app.js. Sorry, not this one. There's two app.js. I'm going to open it from the resources folder. So where you find that is you would go um, resources, JS, and then app.js. And that's there. And then here in our file, we can install uh, some JavaScript dependencies. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to require um, this in. And we're given the instructions as to what files should be required in. Uh, and then that should be basically the all.js, the all.js file in there. So let's go back to our code editor and we'll type in uh, at Fort Awesome slash Font Awesome dash free slash JS slash all. And these are, it's basically a set of uh, SVGs that we can use uh, for the, for drawing in the icons into our application. But that's all we'll need. You'll see how this works as we go to build out and work with, uh, with view and building out our components there. So, all right. So that's all we need to, uh, for this video. In the next video, we're going to go ahead and set up our seeders and start uh, actually coding.